It's Heather. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Now, I cannot stop smiling because I am so excited for this week's video. If you guys don't know already, I used to be a part of a channel called Seven Perfect Angels. I've made a couple of videos about it in the past, so you guys can, you know, check those out if you don't know. I am going to be calling it the old members of Seven Perfect Angels, and we're all going to talk and have a little chat and. <sighs> I also want to give a big shout out to my friend Jazzy as, as I'm sure you guys know, she made a video like this two months ago with seven Supergirls and I loved the video so much. So I messaged her and asked if it was okay if I did this and she said, of course, <sighs> what a gal. So this video was inspired by Jazzy. Thanks girl. Almost all the girls who I contacted were available for calling today except for Leah. So I just want to say a big shout out to Leah. Here are some pictures of what she looks like now and everything just so you guys can, you know, be updated. She just had her 16th birthday. So sis is growing up. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, a really big shout out to Leah. I miss you a ton and I'm sending you a big hug. I think that's everything. We're going to start calling the girls. I'm so nervous, <laughs> but really excited to talk to them because it's been so long, so here we go. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh my Hi. god. Hello, hello. 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 It's Ashlyn. If you remember me, I was Monday on Seven Perfect Angels. So my name's Jana. And I'm pretty sure I was Wednesday. I'm Jaden. I was Thursdays on Seven Perfect Angels. I'm Ellie, and I was the Friday on Seven Perfect Angels. I'm Anna, and I'm Avery, and we were Friday on Seven Perfect Angels. Oh my god, I don't even remember what day I was. My name's Holly, and I was the Saturday spot. I want to say I was on SPA for one year. Um, I was probably on for like a year and a half. I was on SPA for like two years. Probably like two years. Um, okay, math, hold on. <laughs> I think a little over two and a half years. We were on the SAC channels for probably three total years, but I feel like we were on Seven Perfect Angels for two and a half? Two and a half, yeah. I'm 17 now. I am 17 turning 18 in a few months. And I'm 19. I'm 17, oh. almost 18. I'm 18, I'm legal. <laughs> it's so weird. I'm 18 now and everyone still thinks I'm 12, so I guess really I just never grew, I just stayed the same. And I am almost 21. <laughs> so, ah, I know, I'm so old, guys. I'd say my favorite memories were the trips that we went on mm -hmm. and to be able to like see all the girls in person and to like hang out in the hotel rooms at night. The Orlando Seven Supergirls meet and greet was the first time yeah. all of Seven Perfect Angels came together. And it was like a really, yeah. I feel like it was the first like really big day for us. Mm -hmm. Like a really like happy day. Yeah. Know. Oh, it was really fun when we all met for the first time. Um, definitely Orlando. First time when we all met. That was iconic. Like we all met in the hotel lobby. That was so fun. Do you remember when we were all in the lobby and then Seven Supergirls came and we got yelled at because came up to us and she was like girls run you're gonna get in so drunk and we like ran and we like scattered like i don't know why that just stands out to me so much because we were just like living our best life <laughs> like the adrenaline in that moment i remember that i remember the two of us running beside each other and i just remember seeing anna's legs like in front like all of us sprinting <laughs> in everyone was directions. Like, we hid under like one of like the concierge tables or something like that. Like, like Holly coming up and being like, is it safe to come out yet? But it was just so funny. <laughs> like, um, well the trips were really fun. And when we filmed like Leah's video, that was so funny. And when we tried all that candy, that was so fun. Yeah. It was one of the very early trips when Leah was filming a video in the hallway. Do you remember what I'm talking about? That's like the what hotel Holly one. Said too. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it was just I hadn't laughed that hard in a very long time. We were just sitting there, it was like 11.30 at night, and she was just yelling in the hotel hallway. It was the funniest thing ever. 
meeting the fans in person. Like I'll never forget like people asking for my autograph and just like seeing just like the little kids faces like that was something I'll like never forget. I think it was just you and I like we had gotten to the hotel before everybody and we like spent the whole day at the pool together and that was so much fun. And we just went around um, like the lazy river. So we were on that times. lazy river for hours. Yeah. <laughs> for hours. Yeah. Oh that was so fun. Just yeah, like little so moments fun. like that. Oh yeah. I love that. Oh easily the girls like I don't know. I just like want to give everyone a hug again and like right. see everyone. You can talk over Snap and FaceTime as much as you want, but it's never the same as like being in person with them. This sounds kind of weird, but I felt like I was kind of like, I really felt like I'm a part of something and I felt like I was kind of like helping kids in a way. I really liked the fact that a lot of them like just really enjoyed the videos and like, like looked up to us for that. That was like, just, that was a good feeling. I miss like just how close we all were. Like, I feel like we were, there was like a chunk of time where we were like all super close with each other. Like, I do miss just like uploading and like stuff like that. Like, I actually really enjoyed it. Really miss like skip videos. I know that sounds like crazy, but like, I don't know. I'll never make skip videos again, but it's definitely like, I do miss it. <laughs> it was just like a really good community. Like, you don't get that kind of support from each other unless you're on like a group channel, I don't think. So like, I guess just that vibe, I don't really know. I mean, I definitely miss having those like strong relationships. Like another thing I miss is we can't really go back and watch any of our old videos. I don't miss we, that. I don't want to see any like, of those. <laughs> I know it's like cringy to go back and look at it, but like we don't even have the option to do that because we never really saved them on a hard drive. And now like since they're deleted, like I sort of like miss now, like not being able to like look back on like all this like skits we filmed and stuff. <laughs> What was your least favorite rule while being on the channels? Oh, I can't even pick one. There's so many. <laughs> oh, there's so many. Oh, I had so many. Oh my oh, God. God. There were a few, I can tell you that much. <laughs> I understand, but it was just kind of really frustrating, like the friendship thing. Probably that we couldn't talk to like other members of like a different channel or something. Anytime we're in like a chat with one of them, it was like a no-go and we would get in trouble. So I hated the rule of like not being able to have friends that you want to be friends with. <laughs> so. It especially sucks when one of your actual best friends, you're not allowed to be seen with them. Mimi and I are obviously still close, like so close to this day. She's still my best friend. And like, I was not allowed to be like seen with her. I wasn't really allowed to like take pictures with her in public at all. Or like we would meet up in the summer and we couldn't like post about it. We had to like hide it and everything. And like not being able to show your friendships and like how close the girls actually were. That one sucked yeah. big time. That's good, and I'm definitely gonna put that in because I want the people to know. They need to know. <laughs> and I have to say, not dyeing your hair during your nails because I wanted my hair blonde. I'd always <laughs> wanted to get highlights, and just so I could be like a little bit blonder. Yeah. I'd gotten my hair done, and basically the manager came to me and was like, you can't have your hair dyed. So it makes stupid. you look too old. And I was like, are you <laughs> kidding me? Like, So I ended up having to dye my hair this hideous shade of brown. <laughs> I remember because I had to dye it over all the highlights and mm -hmm. it looked absolutely terrible and I hated the fact that I like didn't even have the freedom to wear my hair the way I wanted to mm -hmm. and I had to fit this like certain image of like looking like an 11 year old. Overall just the fact that you were not to change your appearance at all and like change your hair and since then I've had like 10 hair colors <laughs> so I really let it go once I was able to actually change my hair. If I'm gonna really put my face like out for millions of people to see, I kind of want to look good. Yeah, <laughs> that exactly. makes any sense. I didn't like how they ranked people. They'd send. It wasn't like a rule, but like you remember when they'd like send like who's number one, number two. Like, do you remember when they did that? That's just that's so just like so cruel. Like, that's so rude. We're just little girls. Like, honestly. A lot of people have been wondering, like, where have Anna and Avery gone? <laughs> when we left the channel, we moved halfway, like, across the country, kind of. With the schedule and, like, moving and everything, YouTube just didn't really fit into that. I just kind of wanted to start fresh, and I, like, like I had said, YouTube wasn't really something I was passionate about anymore. So, for me, I think just kind of leaving that in the past and moving on 
and that's kind of like why I deleted all my social medias. So I'm sorry to a lot of fans who, you know, find me and, you know, want to see what I'm up to. But again, like my life is very private now and I, that's just for me and my privacy. But like with Avery saying how like we sort of wanted to leave like the YouTube in the past doesn't mean we're sort of like neglecting it ever happened. It was just like filming like a good quality YouTube video. Like it takes a lot of time. We just like didn't have that going into our freshman and junior year of high school because that's obviously like a really huge adjustment for a lot of people, especially at a new school. So choosing to be private just sort of allowed us to not necessarily forget we ever did YouTube, but sort of shift our focus yeah. to whatever the next chapter of our life is going to be. Right when I left was like a complete turning point in my life. Just so, so much stuff went down and I have a really hard time with how people were treating me at school about my videos. I had a really hard time like discovering my own identity, I guess. I felt kind of like boxed in by the characters I had to portray, if that makes any sense. I don't know, this is so deep. But like, I don't forget about you guys. Like, I remember all of you. I remember all of the meet and greets. I remember everybody I met. Like, it's, it's just how it had to be, like, for my mental health, really. But I definitely don't regret it at all. And I miss everybody that I was on the channels with. Like, I was good friends with all of them. It's absolutely nothing against them. And it was just totally, like, my thing. I really appreciate you being so real about that. It's like important for people to hear stuff like this because I never like talked to anybody that really understood what I was going through at the time. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Favorite is like when we had the routine theme, like morning or night routine. They were just kind of fun and also quite easy compared to some of them. I feel like I always really liked expectation versus reality. I always thought that was like a really fun skit for us to do. And I, I liked like the morning routine, Christmas videos, like oh, those were yeah, always yeah. fun. I love the Christmas themes, like those were so fun. And I also loved like Halloween uh, holiday themes, like I liked those. I really liked the babysitting ones because those were always like super fun to make. And I know this ain't like a theme, but like any video I made like with my sisters was like a blast, whether it was like challenges or anything like that. Like the challenge theme, well, I really liked when I could actually kind of like, I don't know, like show a little bit more of my personality instead of playing a character. Freestyle was just always like fun because it didn't have to be a skit, so you could kind of let more of your personality show through. <laughs> Okay, well, I sometimes text Jazzy, but I think I talk to you the most out of everyone. Mm -hmm. I, I talked to Ellie a bit in the spring and sometimes me and Jaden, but I think that like you're the one I talk to the most, I'd say. I don't really, I'm in touch with everyone a tiny bit, but like some people more than others, like I still follow everyone, I'm pretty sure. I still talk to Mimi, Jaden, you, Holly, probably the most out of everyone. I still talk to like, Natalie, uh, Irina, Tamara, Sophie, the Jenna, the Jazzy, Kaylin texted me recently. I still talked to Heather. I think that's it, but I know I'm probably missing somebody. I'm still close with a lot of the people on like this lineup of SPA. I'm especially close with you, Ellie and Mimi, Anna and Avery, Jenna, Ella. I'm really close with Mary. Definitely forgetting people. I'm sorry, everyone. I saw a picture of Avery and I on my on my next one. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh. So I'm not in contact with anyone anymore, but like I would love to change that. I definitely was dealing with my own stuff, and I did want to distance myself from that. But like I I still love everybody, and I would love to talk to everybody again. I'm gonna have to go with toddler Tiffany. Now looking back, I'm so ridiculously embarrassed. I wanna like just never go out in public again, knowing that that's how I decided to spend my time. But at the same time, like it was just like a fan favorite, you know? Mm -hmm. Was probably bratty Jenna. That was my favorite character. And I feel like, I think everybody had like a bratty character. Like playing baby Rosie because she did good in my videos, but then I didn't like being a baby. And then my grandma character, she was probably my favorite to play. I had um, Chef Olive, which would just be like me baking stuff. And I like love baking, so it was really fun to like play that character. Even though like the costumes and stuff were like really ugly, I always liked being like Shambo, like the purple, oh God, the purple <laughs> and green wigs. 
because that was when we did all the pranks and that was always really fun. I love playing Todd because I would like paint my skin green. Funny story, I would like paint like my whole body green, like not like everything, but like literally everything you could see. And I would paint my elbows green and for like so long afterwards, I could never get some paint out. Like it was literally stuck in my elbow. You'd have green elbows. <laughs> yeah, it looked nasty. <laughs> Okay. okay, I'll answer. I graduated high school this year. Well, I just graduated high school, um, class of 2020, rise up. <laughs> and I'm going to school next year, and I'm doing a motion picture arts degree. Now I am attending Texas Christian University in the fall, and I'll be studying strategic communication, which is kind of just like advertising and marketing and stuff. I want to do like social media managing and like specialize in that. When I go to college, I'm hoping to like make some more videos. Well, I still do YouTube. I do TikTok as well. <laughs> TikTok, it's funny. I don't know why it's funny, but it is. I also just finished like UK college, which is like, I guess the last years of high school for you, which means I'll be going to university. I'm doing a drama course, which is so exciting. I went to college for two years and due to like COVID and everything, I'm taking a break, but I was studying media production. Um, but now I actually bought my own house. I just got a new puppy. This is Lexi. So she's the newest like puppy to our family. And so I really just want to get married at this point and have kids. <laughs> I've been with my boyfriend for uh, one year. So who knows? I may have a ring on this finger soon. <laughs> Hopefully next year I'll be going to college because I am graduating this coming year. Like I love art, like I go to an art school now. So anything art related, I really enjoy. But then I also love doing hair. So I've been thinking about like hair school maybe. I don't know, I feel like I have so many different paths. So I just gotta figure out which one. I'm going to be a sophomore in college in the fall and um, I'm planning on majoring in health and exercise science. So I'm you know, headed in the direction of possibly doing something like pre-med or pre-physical therapy. And for me, I'm going into the senior year of high school, which is crazy. Like, I'm so old, it feels like. But the main thing for my senior year, like, I'm gonna try and graduate and seeing where I end up, I'm like really excited to find that out, so. I am too. She doesn't talk about college at all. So I'm like- it's just so nerve wracking. I don't know. Just, you know, she's gonna end up somewhere great. She's the smartest person I know, so. <laughs> and thanks for letting me be a part of this. I'm honored. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Thank you so much for doing this. This yeah. is like perfect. You too. Bye. Bye. Have yeah. a good day. I'm sending big okay, hugs. Okay, bye. Thank you. Bye. bye. Oh, I miss you, by the way. Like, I do. Oh, I miss you too. Nice talking to you guys. Yeah. Bye. 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 Well, that was the video. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. I just wanna give a big shout out to the girls for being down to be a part of this video. Thank you so much. I, that was so fun and crazy. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like before you go. And that's everything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.